I am Oswald Quintal, a um, counsellor of Emmaus International, and I, I am the team leader of Kudumbam, a community in South India that is involved in sustainable agriculture. For the last 27 years, we have been involved in understanding the, uh, the, the crisis of dryland farmers where groundwater in India is depleting and the groundwater which was, uh, which was about 10 meters in 1960 has dropped to 200 meters in 2010. We are trying to sensitize uh, school students, university students on the cause of depletion of groundwater. This depletion of groundwater has led uh, the small agriculture producer, the small farmer, has made life for the small farmer very miserable. Global warming has increased the gap between two rainy days. Our intervention in the last 27 years has been in conserving every drop of water where it falls, in enhancing community capacities, in harvesting water through establishing dikes, through establishing farm ponds, and planting different tree species on, their, on the fence and buns of farmers' fields. We started with establishing a farm a 15 hectare, hectare farm in the central part of Tamil Nadu where a barren piece of land in, in, in a period of 10 years we have converted that barren piece of land into a forest and in between that forest we planted different type of crops, um, cereals, pulses and different type of fruit trees timber trees, fodder trees, and we integrated in the farm a different type of livestock, chickens, goats, cows, and this model that we established, we started training for farmers on water conservation, on soil fertility, on integrated farming, and in agroforestry. This effort of ours in the last 27 years has reached out to farmers, around 1,500 farmers around the farm. We, have, uh, we are the founders of Low External Input Sustainable Agriculture Network, which is a network of 82 NGOs and 50,000 farmers spread over the whole state. These NGOs and farmers have worked, are involved in 400 villages in, in Tamil Nadu where they have established community water resource mapping. Through this community water resource mapping, the community is able to identify the key problem in the village, identify the status of community water bodies, identify what, uh, the how the change in cropping pattern has led to depletion of groundwater and from this water resource mapping, the community evolves a plan of action for the next five years on how they will change the, the cropping pattern, how they will change the land use, and this community plan which they develop for the next five years, they will systematically implement the plan and re-establish groundwater for the future generation.